you can I'm here to take you through another drill now ideally I prefer this drill outside but it's quite a windy windy day outside and we are going to be using paper so the equipment we're going to use you need a scrap bit of paper back of a cereal box where we need to write some keywords down and we also need a marker today for a marker we're going to use Disney princesses like Moana it's a real simple drill basically we're going to put a marker or a chair in the middle where you're going to stand I'm going to shout out a keyword for the sport of rounders today you're going to have to run and find that keyword and then get back to the centre as quickly as you can. So let's see that game in action. Right, word play workout in action. We're going to use the keywords around us. We found those keywords off the Rounders Governing Body website. Now you could go on any governing website or Google and you can find the keywords and the rules for each sport and do a little bit of reading up on that and you could teach each other it. So when we do come back to school, we're ready to play and we roll, know the rules. Indy's going to demonstrate the game. I'm going to shout out a keyword. She's going to run and touch that keyword and get back to her seat as quickly as she can. Today we've made the space nice and short. If we wanted to make it harder, we could go outside and make it a little bit further away. So let's see what she's got in her tank. Rounder. Out. No ball. Half rounder. Now, if we did want to make this drill a little bit harder, what we could do, we could test Indy's memory by shouting out two in a row. Let's see if she can remember two in a row. So you've got to touch two and then get back to the seat. So Indy, innings and no ball. Depend on Indy's memory, she could we could go all the way up to eight in a row. I've only ever managed three. There's another workout for you, that's wordplay workout. Well done guys.